Well, also, I asked you a question, right? Um, so, uh, I asked you a question, and uh, I'm going to uh, get you guys to respond in the chat right now. So part of this exercise, I have some riddles, and if I was uh, better planned, I would have uh, had an opening slide with some clever riddles in there. But basically, what has come up and some things in my mind is uh, we have invasive and native species. Uh, <laughs> there's uh, Most things have been introduced, right, to North America by Europeans. Uh, they're not they're not native, right? Uh, they're nat they're naturalized. Uh, I am having trouble using the data to make the bar graphs, the pie charts. Uh, so I'll I'll read that long question in a second. I don't know where it went. Uh, weird. Why are questions disappearing? Um, could you just ask that question again? It's not in the chat, or at least I can't see it. But uh, if you're having trouble with a bar graph, I covered that in uh, the last recorded session, so I'm not doing that now. Um, if Unless there's some specific like uh, fallacy that's different, uh, you should be able to sort it out from the last recording. So whoever asked, asked that question, I can't see it right now, even though I have the chat window in. Um, if you ask again, uh, or just say, uh, okay, Nigel, that's great. Um, now, I lost my train of thought, and again, see how distracting chat windows uh, and the virtual spaces, so we need to streamline things, and um, basically, yes, so mine is, you have most things here have been introduced, and they've naturalized. But uh, our categories now are limited to invasive and native. So what do you do? What, what's a naturalized species? Is it invasive? Uh, and I'm asking you this question. So if someone wants to raise their hand and take an attempt, uh, we, can, uh, we can just talk about it. It's a little riddle. And uh, I think it's an important one to discuss right now. So uh, the question is, uh, and I had it on the thing, is uh, <laughs> what? is a non-native but naturalized uh, species. Is it invasive or native <laughs> because it's naturalized? So go ahead, take an attempt, raise your hand, uh, or just pop on the microphone or in the chat. And uh, there's 17 of you, so uh, you guys are still here, right? Uh, it, you guys are alive. Can, can someone respond with like a yes or like a, a, a gesture that I'm not just talking to myself? It would be an invasive species that has become more accustomed to its new environment. So uh, you've, inter you've raised an interesting point. So, uh, uh, introduced species is uh, a species is native to an area but does not cause an issue that uh, can be uh, invasive species may cause. Perfect. So, uh, excellent job, Rebecca, and excellent question, uh, Sonia. That is exactly what the point I was trying to make. So, you can have a introduced species, sometimes from long ago, so our European uh, uh, ancestors and, and and explorers of sorts brought uh, seeds over, either intentionally or otherwise. They fill the niche space, right? But they're not causing uh, a negative detriment on everything around them. So they're not really invasive. Like invasive species fill a new niche space and usually have tools like uh, allopathic chemicals, <laughs> insane growth rates, uh, like you get caught up in the like, kudzo vines, um, uh, and so they just they are crazily, crazily out competing everything else to the point of uh, reducing species, reducing ecosystem function. Um, so great work, Rebecca, and great question, Sonia. So I hope that that was f a fun thought for everyone. Um, 
certainly raising neurons and it, it's an interesting thing to talk about right and uh so that's that's what i want you to think about and i only know these things because i've worked with uh, the meadow system the old field system and it came up a lot that uh, very few of the species i was working with are actually native most are introduced and naturalized and a few of them were invasive um, and I had to parse out all those definitions. And um, so uh, can I ask you guys one more question? Uh, and it's on a similar theme and it came up in the WhatsApp between uh, what is a tree? <laughs> what is a woody thing? And uh, why does that matter? So uh, does anyone want to hear that or should we just move on to data problems and, and, uh, and graphing? Um, I'm just trying to integrate courses in the theme with uh, what we're doing here, but I'm actually also providing you with a ton of value to talk about on your flyer. So, uh, do someone want to, uh, uh, are you interested in the, the tree versus wood debate or no? Uh, if, yes, please, tell us about trees. Okay. Okay, great. I just don't want to waste time. One of my things is uh, I don't like wasting time. I don't like being unprepared. Uh, and I don't like being uh, like scrambling. So all of those things are, are happening to me this morning. So uh, <laughs> I'm showing you a way to overcome that by just uh, rolling with it. So I have a, uh, I thought a screenshot that kind of shows the distinction uh, that we're talking about. So I'm just gonna attempt to pull it up for a minute here. So just bear with me, but while I'm talking, uh, and, and doing these things all at once, I'll say that uh, a tree, so first and foremost, ecology and forestry are two sort of uh, different disciplines that don't necessarily agree on terms, and forestry precedes uh, ecology. And uh, I don't even know if this is the right file that I'm uploading here. <laughs> and uh, so I'm just trying to populate some files and then I'll share them with you. And uh, yeah, okay, I found it. And um, so for a tree, a tree has a, a very specific definition. Uh, and so I'm just going to share this uh, with you here. So this is uh, uh, what I was talking about. So ecology really has a hierarchy of like biosphere, ecosystem, community, population, and organization. And uh, in the data set, we have habitat. So what is a habitat, right? Uh, these terms are ambiguous. Sometimes they're confused with each other and the definitions are not really clear. And then you have a whole other conundrum, especially speaking about woody things that uh, these do not align. So a tree is probably definitely an organism. A stand is not necessarily a population. Um, a forest is a bunch of stands. Uh, so population and community are, are, are different and, and not related in that way. Uh, ecosystem and, and landscape might be kind of uh, similar. And what's a habitat? So Ecosystems are very complex, and you have habitats within ecosystems. Uh, this space is a habitat. Uh, a piece of wood is a habitat for an ant. Um, and, uh, you know, you talk about the forest habitat, but what are you talking about? So I just wanted to get your brains going and thinking about these things. And then the next thing I'm going to uh, share with you, if I can find it, is uh, just another clear visual on uh, on what a tree is and what a woody thing is. Um, I need to just double check that I'm not sharing a crazy like uh, <laughs> crazy uh, photo with you that I didn't check. Okay, so here we go. Uh, and <laughs> hopefully this isn't too distracting for you. Like I said, it's been a rough morning, so I'm kind of all over the place. Okay, so. Um, and this builds off the last thing I shared. Uh, so uh, <laughs> organism is a, a continuous living system made up of cells, right? You're an organism, a, a plant is an organism, and a tree is an organism. A tree by forestry definition is a perennial. 
So it lives more than one season. Uh, and there's some uh, height uh, thresholds that a tree needs to meet. Uh, and uh, shrubs sometimes are included as trees, depending if they meet that height. And a tree has, unlike herbaceous things, it has a secondary growth. So a uh, herb, a grass, a uh, flower, uh, you know, the old field meadow stuff grows vertically. There's an apical uh, uh, meristem. It builds cells, modular fas fashion, vertically. Trees do a second thing. They do that. But then they, uh, the reason you have tree rings is because every year uh, is growing horizontally. So there's this radial growth. So uh, some people don't call uh, shrubs trees because they don't meet the, meet the height threshold, but it's a perennial and it has the, the radial growth. So for me, that's a, that's a tree. <laughs> it's a short tree, right? And uh, in this uh, uh, assignment, in this dispersal assignment, so I'll stop sharing that, um, we've classified things as woody and uh, non-woody. Non so what does that mean? What What is wood, uh, <laughs> right? And uh, so for me, something that's woody has that secondary uh, radial growth. And also wood, chemically, is uh, you have lignin, cellulose, and hemicellulose. And I'm not going to go on about this because we have stuff to do here today. <laughs> this is just fun. And to get your mind working and to provide you with value for your flyer. So... Uh, you have situations, so the director of a cannabis company, and the thing that always got me, like it, it continues to interest me, is that you have the secondary radial growth, and uh, it's an annual plant. So it's not a tree, but it's a woody thing, and the chemical composition um, for the cannabis plants that have very thick stems, uh, they're very woody, and they have lots of lignin. The stems that are not so thick, uh, they don't really have like a woody kind of feel. It's more just cellulose and hemicellulose. So um, those are some just like it, it's ambiguous and uh, there's a lot of things to convey. And uh, if you guys could type in the chat whether you liked that or not, like whether that was cool and interesting, I'd appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> if you don't say anything, then I know that I just rambled, but uh, these are some talking points for your flyer. Okay, fasting, wow. <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't need to lift me up, but like I said, I know I'm a mess right now, <laughs> so that's okay. And uh, again, I'm a mess because I spend more time answering uh, bloody inquiries than uh, working, uh, than preparing you uh, this tutorial today. So streamline those, those inquiries, keep them short. If I don't respond, email me, keep going. <laughs> I'm not offended if you email me five times and it becomes more and more urgent. It just means I'm, I'm missing it. Uh, so the radial growth was specific only to trees. So know that, uh, that that's kind of the point that I was making, right? That's a conundrum, right? So uh, cannabis is an annual. It's not a meal, so it's not a tree. Uh, 